I saw the Atlanta Fed. I, I'm, I'm, it's mind blowing to me how wrong 99% of the economists always are about things. Did you see the Atlanta Fed forecast? Four, four percent plus GDP. Yeah. yeah. After that shocker for the last GDP report, and it, it, what happened? How, how did we miss it so badly? Did Stiefel? Was, were you totally surprised? Well, we think the economy is uh, is stronger, and and we've been saying for a while that the market's view of six rate cuts just isn't. Uh, Reality and, and not so much from the economic numbers. You just don't raise 11 times into a big inflation and then suddenly pivot and cut six times. Uh, it just like this. It doesn't make a lot of sense from a lot of perspectives. And so I think the the economy is going to prove stronger. I think you're going to see a, a jobs report this morning is going to be stronger. So uh, we don't see the Fed cutting six times this so year. So what happened Wednesday and then what happened yesterday? How does that? What, what do you attribute it to in terms of the, the averages? I just think you see... Wednesday was like, but we're not going to cut. Thursday was okay. The econ on the one hand, it means no cuts. On the other hand, it means, wow, the economy is good. And, and you don't know whether to buy or sell on that. Well, the market wants, especially the big tech stocks, want rates coming down. All right. And so, and so does, uh, so does uh, uh, lenders and the commercial real estate want rates coming down. So do I. And if I'm speaking my own book, I want rates coming down. It's going to... Have you know investment grade issuance, IPOs, everything will, uh, would that will accelerate. Engender, that re uh, would inflation come back? Jay Powell says it's not you know put to rest. Well, isn't that the sixty-four thousand dollar question from the human element? I, I don't even look at the numbers. I look at it from what are the history books going to say to our Fed chairman if he cuts rates too soon and reignites inflation. That's how you get in the history books. So that, that's what you think they're going to be more afraid to cut rates and then have to raise them again or to have inflation come roaring back? Well, I, I would certainly, uh, that would be what I would worry about if, uh, you know, you would say, well, maybe you're a little too accommodative during all the COVID stimulus and the Fed printing money. I think you need to see inflation data coming down and getting to 2% before we're going to see rates really be cutting substantially as, as the market thinks. I'm not quite sure why the market thinks this. Uh, Is there any way that this, you know, we're Supposedly the envy of the world because of our economy. Is, is there any way it's, it's still residual uh, largesse from the Fed and from the fiscal uh, component and, and government hiring and Keynesian infrastructure, all these things? Is, is any of this really organic from the bottom up capitalism succeeding? Or is it all, I mean, can it all come back to haunt us and not be real? Well, I think that if you look back, we put so much money in the economy. You could, when you, when you add it all up, you know, it's I mean, eight to nine if, trillion. If Binomics is working, why why is he the got the lowest rating of any president in in history? Well, because when you go to the grocery store and you hear Bidenomics and you get your uh, you get your food bill, uh, that most people react to that. Uh, the inflation has been it's, that's a big tax, and even though inflation's coming down, it's still up. 8% from, call it 2021, and so your food bills up and wages haven't kept up with that. Uh, they're starting to. So look, I, I, I think through all of this, the, the market needs to just uh, let the Fed do its job and not be thinking that we're yeah. going to be at a 3% rate. It might be that we're adding a new city the size of Cincinnati every couple of months and, and that the, the rate of immigration is now above the, yeah. the rate of, of births yeah. in the United States. I'd watch, uh, I, I, I would be interested in what Steve said, but I'd watch um, average uh, hourly earnings, which were up 4% in December. Finally. I think they're going to be up 4% yeah. uh, again. And I think that's going to be something that. that you really have to watch because uh, labor. Well, that's good because we haven't kept that. People are still no, below where they were. The Fed, well, there's right, not, Fed's right. not going to cover But the Fed's nice, not going to cover yeah. It's nice they have real wage gains. So yeah. event, well, event. I see it. I mean, I, I see it in the job market. Um, so to say that that's not occurring uh, would. It's good. It, it, it is good, but it's not conducive to the Fed cutting rates like us. Uh, Six times. Ron, what we, what we saw with New York Community Bank Corp this week, um, has people worried about what's going to happen with some of these mid-level banks? What, what do you see? How would you describe the situation right you know, now? It's, it's how markets work. When you, when you take the short-term rate to 5.5%, uh, in, in, in their case, in a rent-controlled market, you know, you're from New York, I, 
uh, just think about it, all right? Your, your interest costs are going up and your rents are that's controlled. An, that's an interesting point. point. I hadn't thought of the rent control aspect. Absolutely. Of and, and in fact, it was in many ways idiosyncratic to them, that particular issue. Yet, urban office buildings, primarily on the coast, are under stress for a lot of reasons. Not only rate, but policy. And some of the COVID policies and, and uh, you know, you're not seeing people moving or, or moving out of some of these urban uh, buildings uh, for a variety of reasons. But rates uh, are up. I personally think we're, we're going to see more of this. But the banking sector is very well capitalized. So I don't see it being who, who, systemic. Who's your guy? Who do you listen to? It, it's the, is it Barry Bannister? Absolutely. Your guy? Absolutely. He's been really, he's been good. What, uh, so God forbid you, you try to Call the market because you wouldn't do that. Would you? you, you Me? You, yeah, you can. You can oh, like hang it on Barry, can't oh, you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, oh, exactly. So what, what is Barry? What is Barry's? Last year he was great. Yeah, really. Last couple what, of years he's been really good. What, what is? Yeah. Uh, where is he this this year for? Ba the Barry. Uh, the, so the market. We we look at versus consensus. The market thinks earnings are going to be up eleven percent. We believe it's steep will be half that, so six percent. Again, and that's not bad. Stay 